welcome back guys so in the last video we left here and this button ui i am not happy with what we are getting so actually we have imported angular uh, uh, we are used we have used uh, angular material button but the problem is we are not uh, we haven't add api for that that's why we are getting this uh, weird uh, button all right so i'm just going to copy this and paste it inside uh, come on top here i'm gonna paste it and then you can copy this and paste it up to this okay then save it now if you come back here instead of this uh, ui which we have created i'm going to remove this which is you come back here i have added one class here you can remove this class and as you can see now this look a lot better than before okay so this uh, login is done now you can add uh, id for this let me just add id for this for email i'm going to add uh, you can just type ng model you will get this and this will be uh, login email so i'll write log email all right this will be login email now same thing for the password what i'll do ng model sorry this will be uh, log password so i'll write log log password here and then when you click on the login i'll add on click listener so you can click you can call login function okay this is done now what we can do here is you can just actually copy paste all this thing for the register part all as well so what i'll do uh, i'll just from the uh, mat form fill only one okay both will copy two and the button also i'll copy this all right i'm going to copy all this thing and paste it inside register tab okay i paste it and let me just format this document and now if you come here this is the register as you can see register so email is fine email is fine now this will be registered email so i'll write reg email and this is fine password is fine and then this will be reg password so it will be registered password and then you can copy this thing again for confirm password so i'll write here confirm password and for him also i can just write the same thing so placeholder confirm password and this will be reg password reg now this time i'll write one more that is confirm password all right so i'll just remove this one or you may can keep this okay reg confirm password and then this is the instead of login i'm going to call a register function and this button will be register okay so this is all we got and if you save it you should able to see it okay i have saved it and if you come back to register as you can see all right now if you want uh, that icon which uh, you saw before here now to add this icon what you can do is if you come back to button and not button sorry if you come to input our, uh, is our input over here and if you come back to actually overview right overview and okay there's no other example uh, come inside example and you are seeing this image over here this is the image we are talking about so to add to add this image all you have to do is you have to add this mat icon mat suffix then this one all right if, so i'll just copy this and make sure before you that uh, we have imported already full so i'm just gonna copy this mat import tag and let's see whether this is coming or not so i'll add it inside let me just uh, edit inside uh, password confirm password okay i have saved it let's see what is happening here if you come to register oops we are not getting are we getting any error in the console no so uh, maybe i have missed some tech here come back to uh, that documentation and we haven't did any error okay let me check here okay guys so uh, the issue is uh, ng model issue so ng model is not there so we are getting this uh, issue so what we have to do is we have to import form module 
so to import this you have to come back to app model .ts and if you come on top I'll just copy this all right and paste it here now make sure this button is not there and instead of material we have forms okay and here we have form modules all right and let me just copy this and paste it inside this all right save it and we should able to get it okay okay there's our app run it and are we getting an error here our app is actually our app is not running at all let me just save it again or yeah now if you come back to the browser let me just refresh it one more time that's weird we are getting uh, and then yeah so the function is not present now let me just check one more time yeah let me just create this function register and uh, so come back to app component dot ts so here you can create the function register all right and the other one is login not only that we have to create uh, id for this also we have uh, log gmail right so we have to create this also so login so this will be type of string right and then same thing log password type of string and for register we have rest gmail of type string and you can copy this this will be reg and paste it again this will be reg so this will be confirm password and the last one will be reg email we already have right okay cool so we got all the value and let me save it again and let's see what error we are getting and reg confirm password reg confirm yeah this is not confirm. all right i saved it compile successfully okay I don't know why is it taking so much time to compile this issue will be fixed by this error but I don't know it is not compiling let me just close this all right I think it's running again so I'll just terminate in run it again all right this is actually id issue i don't know sometimes change are uh, not reflecting so we are not able to see the uh, change also so our app is running now okay our app is run the now this time no error so i'll just refresh this and we are still getting this if you come back here let me just do one thing clean the cache and refresh it one more time and this is still more edit maybe misspell come back here this is mod edit correct and everything is working perfectly fine i don't know what is the issue alright guys I think some issue is there I'll explain I'll fix and I'll explain in the next one thank you guys